We are broadcasting live from the Woodlands, Texas to the world. You're listening to the only multimedia FM station in Houston, Texas. Your fusion radio. Top 40s, dance, Latin, country, pop, rock and roll. All in one station. Mixing genres and generations. You're listening to KNLY New Waverly, Texas. 91.1 FM, The Boss. The program presented are submitted by members of our community and are a proud sponsor of KNLY 91.1 FM. The views expressed do not necessarily reflect those of KNLY 91.1 FM and its affiliates. DailyBuzzRadioShow.com, RadioTheBoss.com, 91.1 FM, The Boss. Okay, I did not catch the pen, but I didn't I lose the pen either. The pen. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Sidney Young, your host, along with Tressa Ray. Hi, guys. Hi, Mom. Hi, She's Mom. always watching. I your see her watching. She you, watches every show. Do you pay show. your mother to watch? No, she is your boosting she, thing, don't you? she? All day long, she can boost your numbers. My mom's my number one fan, man. He's <laughs> number one fan, man. <laughs> oh yeah, my mother's in the studio today, along with my son. Yeah, yeah. She's very nice. They're very quiet though; they don't talk much. Well, I'm sure we'll get her to laugh here in a minute. Probably so. Probably. I say stupid stuff. You probably didn't know that. Shipful. Hey, check Got this out, man! <laughs> New Year's Eve's coming up. Yes. Black House Cigars, Bradley Marl. Black House Cigars has a very interesting event called <clears throat> the Pirates. New Year's Eve Pirate Blast. New Year's Eve Pirate Blast. Now, let me tell you about this. This is Old Town Spring, so you're in Old Town Spring. Go buy Black House Cigars. You can't miss them. It's up there. If you guys are online right now, you see it right there. It is 318 Gentry Street in Old Town Spring. It's a potluck dinner, fresh hand road premium cigars. If you dress in Renaissance or Pirate Gear, you get a free stogie, man. So go on by there. I think it starts, what, 7 p.m.? 7 p.m.? He said till daylight. or <laughs> Yeah, he said until whenever, and I said the party don't stop till 8 hey, in the morning, so you, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Black House Cigars, Old Town Spring. Go see them this New Year's Eve. And yeah, you got some announcements. Fun. Yes, after New Year's Eve, uh, we have Angela Aja's uh, book launch. It's going to be January 10th. You can pre-order your um, books online right now at summontosore.com. Uh, they are $19. Someone to soar $19.99, yes. That's the book she wrote. Uh, now, she has this pre-launch party at uh, Butler House. No, it's House. not the pre-launch party. It's the book launch party. The book launch. The book launch Not a party. pre-launch, a book launch. Yeah. It's launch and something's getting launched. I don't know. <laughs> She's also going to uh, show, finally reveal the book cover because nobody's seen the, the actual book cover. Oh, yeah, it's a big cover. picture of me on there. You probably didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. I don't think so. It's like so. we have in the, the office. The five stages of a rise of a woman <laughs> with Sydney S. Mace on it, everybody. That's <laughs> why you don't. <laughs> no, but we'll be at the Butler House January 10th from 6 to 8 for the book launch. The Butler House located in Spring, Texas. Very nice establishment over there. Uh, we'll be out there that, that yes, evening as well. Will. And uh, it ought to be a great time. Listening and eating. We'll okay, now, now you also have also, another big, big, big event. Yes, at uh, the Marriott Hotel on the waterway, they are going to have Taste of the Town. Cool. It is going to be January 17th from 4 to 9 p.m. Tickets are online right now for $30 and then 35 at the door. Cool. Children under 10 are 20 doll hairs. 20 dog hairs, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I got plenty of those. Uh, the Marriott Hotel, uh, we assume everyone knows we're here in the Woodlands, but the Marriott Hotel is here in the Woodlands area, so yes. look it up. Uh, that'll be a very interesting waterway. event. They, they have, like, how many restaurants in there? A ton. We were looking at the list this morning, and it's just yeah. it just goes on and on and on, and then there's gyms so come and hungry. other things that are going to be there, so it's going to be really cool. Now, you, look, now, also, coming up this next year, we, the Daily Buzz Radio Show at 91.1 FM, The Boss, along with Tressa Ray and uh, Angelo Christian, Christian Financial. We are actually putting an event together. Uh, it's going to be a promotional <laughs> event. Uh, we're going to have uh, Angelo and some celebrity guests. We're hoping to get a large venue. We're not having confirmed on venue area yet in Houston. Uh, we expect several thousand people this event. It's going to be a pretty big event, and it'll be a motiva- motivational event talking about you and where you're going. We have tickets on sale and everything else. So I'm, this is actually the first promo we've talked about this event. Our meeting put them together is actually Monday, so I'm a little premature on this, but that's okay. I'm very confident in it. It's going to be a very first-class event with some high rollers 
members in town, celebrities, and anything to do with Angelo Christian is going to be a winning event. Yeah, no, I'm super excited. This uh, is going to be a lot. It's going to it's be gonna a lot be, of work. It's going to be a lot of work, but it's going to be very, very rewarding. You won't sleep. For us, not rewarding, not only rewarding for us, but rewarding for everybody who's going to be able to watch it and stream it and then... And, and you know, stuff. we we got it's all types really, of really things fun. going on. Man, we got stuff planned for this next year. It's going to drive people crazy with the stuff we got going. The list goes on and on and it on. It goes on and on. <laughs> and, of course, today is Financial Friday. Friday. Now, we have Jared <laughs> Parrish. Who we're we're going to take a break here in a minute. But when we come back, we have Jared Parrish with Parrish Insurance Group. We're going to talk money. We're going to talk insurance. We're going to talk investing. We're going to talk about what Parrish Insurance Group can do for you and your family in the very near future. Right, Tressa Ray? So... Is this like your new thing choo -choo here? Choo-choo train, man. It's like you. What yesterday uh, you did it too. It's do like the little choo -choo robot, choo -choo little, little like. Because when new I was little, thing. my mom said, "You do it at you the can, gym. You now can. you're doing I it with Jared Parrish." I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. <laughs> All right. Hey, we'll be right back. Don't go away. Come back with Jared Parrish on Financial Fridays. Don't go away. Hey, don't change that dial. We will be right back with the Daily Buzz Radio Show. Do you want to make your college experience different? Become an intern with 91.1 The Boss. We are interviewing interns today. Contact us at 713-370-5051. Mixing genres and generations. All in one station. 91.1 FM The Boss. Could your business use more customers? Could your business use more online traffic? Sponsor with 91.1 The Boss Radio Station and let our multimedia radio station promote your business. Contact us today at 713-370-5051. Follow us at KNLY 91.1 FM. Are you great with people? Do you have professional experience? 91.1 The Boss wants to interview you as a sponsorship promoter. Contact us today at 713 370 5051. Angela Aja, author and writer of the book Summit to Soar, is hosting her book launch party at the Butler House on January 10th from 6 to 8 p.m., located at 23931 Butler Road in Spring, Texas. The evening will feature her five stages of the rise of a woman, a book cover reveal, a reading by the author, live bites, and drinks. Please RSVP through the event on Facebook, Summit to Soar. Thank you to the generous sponsors, the Butler House Restaurant, Reading Boutique, and Behind the Gates Magazine of Carlton Woods. This message was from a proud sponsor to K&Y 91. 1.1 FM. Woohoo! We're back with the Daily Buzz Radio Show. Hey, welcome back to Daily Buzz Radio Show. Visit with us online on social media, Facebook Live, 91.1 FM The Boss, RadioTheBoss.com, and of course, the Daily Buzz Radio Show.com. Now, we were talking about a book <laughs> earlier because Angela Alka has her book, uh, yeah. Five Stages to How a Woman Soars. No, how. Uh it's summoned to soar. Summoned five to soar. stages of a, a rise of a woman. Yes. No, my but mother so your mom, yeah, your mom uh, brought up a book that she's actually going to let me borrow, so I'm super ah, excited. Me but too. Um, she said that it's a uh, what every everything a man knows about a woman. Mm -hmm. um, and so you open the book, and I mean it's just blank. I mean, there's nothing <laughs> in there. So a thousand pages, all blank. <laughs> it's gonna be a really good book. <laughs> Rip one out, excited. start your fireplace. You got another. 4, I'm going to text Cindy and they're drawing pictures or something. <laughs> Stick figures in. <laughs> we'll, we'll have our launch party. We'll sell millions, man. <laughs> Financial Friday. Yes. Who we got here with us? We've got Jared Parrish back in the JP studio. JP in the us. house. Hello, everybody. Stone Cold Jared Parrish with Parrish Insurance Group. <laughs> Jared, man, let's, let's talk a little bit about Parrish Insurance Group. Talk to me, Daddy. Okay. Well, Parrish Insurance Consulting. Just saying. I said group. <laughs> it's, it's good. PIC. PIC. Um, it's things are growing and I've been trying to cover a lot of bases uh, as far as different products that I can offer to people and the main thing that I've been working on is e educating every customer that I've got mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people when they go into it they're it's kind of oblivious they really don't know what they're they're buying they think they need XYZ coverage and it's typically just sitting down and really going over what their needs are what their current uh, financial status is and really consulting them into what's really going to best suit their needs so if Tressa came to visit, she said, Jared, I need this, this, and this. I got 500 bucks. Make it work. Mm -hmm. What would you tell her? Uh, yeah, there's a lot more questions that's going to go in. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, 500 bucks a month, we, we can work with something. Uh, but there, and there's also a lot of different things that people really don't know about. There's been a lot of changes. Um, like I mentioned last time, you know, mm -hmm. setting up a tax-free retirement, that's, that's got to be valuable. You know, yeah. They, they yeah, can tax your Social Security up to 80%. Yeah. 
They get taxed your Social Security up to 80%. 80%? That's just 80%. insane. Yeah. What are you talking about? So Liz? when people hit 65, a lot of people don't realize that you have a provisional income. You know, they think, oh, this is like a, a savings account for me that I'm going to get, you know, you know, anywhere from 1000 to $1,500 a month, and it's just going to come in, and that's just the way it is. Yeah. No. That's not the way it is. You are limited to how much money you can make, and then anything beyond that, you're going to get taxed and typically taxed pretty heavily. And I have retirement vehicles that when it pays out to you, mm -hmm. it doesn't even go against any of your provisional income. So uh, there was a book that I read uh, a while back, and it really – it shined a light on it for me it's called the power of zero and it the whole goal of it is to set you up to where when you're in your retirement years you don't pay any taxes i mean let's think about it when when you're in your working years mm -hmm. say 20 to 65 mm -hmm. um you've got deductions you got kids mm -hmm. you have interest on your house yeah. you have work deductions i mean this goes on tressa yeah <laughs> And when you're retired, your kids are grown, they're you're gone. <laughs> when, you, when you're retired, your kids are grown, they're gone, so you don't have that deduction. Your house is typically paid off. The debt's not quite the same. Everything's different. So in your retirement years, you're actually getting taxed more than you were prior to Oh, yeah, prior to that. absolutely. So setting yourself up for tax-free retirement is important. I've, I've been trying to show a lot of people how to do that because that's just been one that they weren't even prepared for this. I had no idea that's the way it was set up. Oh, Same man. thing with your uh, your 401k. So I'll go through 401ks, IRAs, things like that, and show them uh, a better way to do it. Okay, I got a question because yeah. you know I'm older. Trust this young lady. In your eyes, your mind, it, what do you think you need to start a retirement account? Well, that's what I was just about to ask him. Like, so what if I know absolutely nothing mm -hmm. about any of this? Say I'm like what. 17 is when you can She's get She's telling the truth now. in that, too. So, so, yeah, I'm freshly 17, <laughs> and I, would, I just got a job. Now I want to think about my future. Like, can mm -hmm. you help? You can obviously help me with that, First thing right? I'll tell, I'll ask anyone is the job where you work, do they offer 401K? No. <laughs> Here, no. <laughs> yeah. No. And for most people, the, the answer is going to be yes. And then the next question is, do they match any of it? They say, you know, some people say, well, they'll match up to 5%. So, okay, right. only put 5% into it. And then okay. set aside, because the goal is you want 10, 10 to 15% of whatever you're making to mm -hmm. go into a savings account. So you can select a portion of that to go into your, to your retirement. And I've got two different, two different retirement vehicles that work really well as far as setting yourself up for tax-free retirement. Uh, you want to take advantage of the 401k of whatever they're going to match because mm -hmm. that's free money. Right. I mean, take advantage of it. But a 401k, an IRA that's money that gets put into your savings or your retirement fund um, pre-tax. So you're not taxed on that money that's going into it, right? Mm -hmm. And you're thinking, oh, well, the more money that I'm putting in my retirement account, the more money that's going to grow, right? Mm -hmm. doesn't matter whether it's 20% today or 20% of retirement. It's the same. So there's really no benefit of putting that money in there pre-tax. Because guess what happens when you get paid out? It's that, tax. That's when you're taxed. Right now, we're, we're at the lowest tax rate, I think they said, in 50, 60 years. Wow. Take advantage of the low taxes. Is there noise? Yeah. Looking at looking at the the national debt and having to pay everything, they keep talking about balanced budget, whatever else. We're looking at a big risk of our taxes going the middle middle income tax bracket going up to sixty percent. A lot of people can't fathom that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean think about losing fifty sixty fifty, sixty percent of your paycheck. Well, so you're not paying taxes today on 20%. Well, what about when you retire, you're paying 60%. Did that mm. tax-free bit? No, that didn't, didn't really help. Yeah. So take advantage of the 5% or whatever they're going to match mm. and then put the rest of it in a separate retirement vehicle. Got a question for yeah. you. You know me. You know me. I'm a Grant Cardonian. I follow Grant. I follow his teachings. I follow mm -hmm. that, that concept, that lifestyle. Is it really smart to take your money and invest in a 401K? Uh, yes and no. For one... Like I said, take advantage of the free money that they're going to match. If they're not matching, no. But even if they're matching, you still got to put your money up. Yeah. Is there I mean, other place you can put your money up that are a lot more now, appetizing? Now, talking about Grant Cardone, mm -hmm. uh, you're talking to different investors. Yeah. What's one of the biggest words they always use? Diversify. Oh, yeah. Diversify. Okay? Absolutely. So that's why it is beneficial to set up a 401k. But like I said... I would only take advantage of what they're willing to match. Mm -hmm. uh, there's other retirement vehicles that will perform better than a 401k or an IRA and that have other benefits to it. Uh, one, of the, one of the deals that I work with is called an IUL. It's an Index Universal Life. And it's ultimately you're overfunding a life insurance policy. I mean, to, to simplify it. 
uh, you're taking advantage of the actuaries, the people, the investors that the insurance company has, mm -hmm. uh, and you're overfunding that so it's earning interest. I've got one right now that's that's performing at six and a half percent. That's pretty good on an on a retirement well, investment. It is. Uh, a lot of 401ks are performing at three and four percent if they're lucky. Yeah, same as a checking account. It's not account. very much. Now your your savings account at your bank. Yeah, don't waste on. your time. CDs don't yeah. waste your time. Yeah. Um, if you want to do money market accounts, mm -hmm. those perform decent. Um, your mutual funds are easy because mm -hmm. you can just kind of plug into that and let them do the investments. Mm -hmm. Here's the problem with those: that a lot of people don't think about. If your money market account or your mutual fund is performing at three percent, you're not making money because mm -hmm. your annual inflation is going to be about 3%. Yeah. Here's another kicker. You pay tax on that growth. You get a 1099 at the end of the year. So if your account made $500 in a year, mm -hmm. you're getting taxed on that 500 bucks. Mm -hmm. Now, here's a benefit to the Index Universal Life. Any of the growth that it has in that account, you don't pay tax on it. That's cool. All of your money goes into it after you've already paid income tax on it. And when you overfund it, and we set it up, similar, you've heard of annuities, we set it up to where you're going to get periodic payments when you hit retirement. Mm -hmm. And it's a retirement you can't outlive because we set up the illustration to 120 years. I want to talk about that. We're going to take a break. And when mm -hmm. we come back, we'll talk more about the N IUL, which stands for? Index Universal Life. Index Universal Life. Also, if you're on social media, you're shouting out to us. We kind of see that. We come back, we're going to do the shout outs back to you. So do not go away. We'll be right back. Don't change that dial. We will be right back with the Daily Buzz radio show. Mixing genres and generations, all in one station. 91.1 FM, The Ball. Do you want to make your college experience different? Become an intern with 91.1 The Ball. We are interviewing interns today. Contact us at 713-370-5051. Follow us at KNLY 91.1 FM. Could your business use more customers? Could your business use more online traffic? Sponsor with 91.1 The Boss Radio Station and let our multimedia radio station promote your business. Contact us today at 713-370-5051. Follow us at KNLY 91.1 FM. Are you great with people? Do you have professional experience? 91.1 The Boss wants to interview you as a sponsorship promoter. Contact us today at 713 370 5051. Searching for a comfortable lounge environment where you can bring your own scotch, whiskey, bourbon, and enjoy a relaxing environment with leather recliners, couches, TVs, sports, movies, and a poker table, and all the other fine amenities of life? Come to Black House Cigars and ask us how you can become a member and get 24-hour access. We are veteran-owned and operated and open seven days a week. Black House Cigars has fresh, hand-rolled, premium-aged organic cigars that are the best money can buy and come with a satisfaction guarantee. Come to O-Town Spring at 318 Gentry Street or visit us online at blackhousecigars.com. This message was from a proud sponsor to KNY ninety one point one FM. Woohoo! We're back with the Daily Buzz Radio Show. Hey, welcome back, DailyBuzzRadioShow.com, RadioTheBoss.com, ninety one point one FM. The Boss, Sydney Young, Tressa Ray. We got some social media people here. Let's see. Uh, who got watched today, Tressa Ray? Um, well, I mean, I can only see my friends list that's watching, but of course my mom's watching uh, my mom. She don't count. Um, ah, I've ah. got Sarah Young. Sarah. Speaking of Young. Mm -hmm. she's, I don't think she's related, though. She's not. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Trey Sambera on there. Hi, Trey. Trey. Hey, Uncle Trey. All right. <laughs> uh, of course, oh, Austin Lewis just popped in. Austin, my buddy. Hey, Austin. We got, I mean, a lot. TJ, James, Zeta, Jeff, Kendrick, Chris. Goes on and on. We got quite Megan, a few. Yeah, we got a few. Uh, but that's good. Hey, you guys keep watching. You got a comment? Make your comment. We'll shout out back to you. Appreciate you yeah. watching today. We have Jared Parrish of Parrish Insurance Consultant. Consulting. That's me. Hey, we're talking about IULs, mm -hmm. and we're also talking about uh, some retirement stuff. Mm -hmm. Jump back in, brother. Jump in the swim pool. Get in with us. Come on. All right. So I mentioned the, IR, the IUL, and there's multiple benefits to it, and uh, you, you've got different, you know. 
security blankets within it. Uh, so let's say we set it up to where you're going to have X amount of growth, but also what happens if the stock market crashes again? Mm -hmm. With this, you're protected. So you will not lose any money in, in, uh, inside that account. So that's also a nice little fail safe. Your mom br uh, brought up a good point as a Roth IRA. That's going to be the other uh, retirement vehicle that I mentioned where when it pays out to you, it's, it doesn't go against your provisional income. So Roth IRA is a great way to That's uh, like two thousand dollars for Roth, something like that to start it. No, uh, you can really start it with pretty much. Uh, you know, I'm sorry. Yes, you're, you're right. There, there is going to be a minimum to start, uh, but you also have a maximum you can put in each year. Really, what's the max? Uh, right around it's around six thousand dollars. You can only mm -hmm. put in a year. Now, I mean, if you think about it, you know, five five hundred bucks a month. I mean, mm -hmm. that's kind of a lot to put in a retirement account. Other people are putting in thousands of dollars a month because they can afford it. With a Roth, you're limited to that. Um, but with an IUL, you're not. So, but it's 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 like I said, it's good to diversify because one mm -hmm. may outperform the other. You never know. So it's good to kind of split it up or max out your your Roth IRA if you've got extra put in the other. And mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of everyone's a little different. No one, every, you know, everyone's financial life is like a fingerprint. Everyone's mm -hmm. a little different. You know, and, and you you may say, but you know what? Trust what I do. If let's say you're going to go buy a Mercedes, you go to the Mercedes lot, and the guy's showing you every Mercedes out there, and you ask him, you know what? You you do pretty good at this. What do you drive? And you go look, and he's driving a 77 Toyota. You go, why ain't you driving one of these fancy Mercedes? Yeah. They're so good. So, now when we get financial people on, I always ask this question. Where would you put your money? Not in a car, that's for sure. <laughs> Not in a car. <laughs> in the back seat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, my money, it's in, a, it's in a, a number of different things. For one, I do have an IUL set up. Uh, I don't have a Roth IRA just because I haven't started one of those mm -hmm. yet. Um, I did a transition to where I pulled my money from uh, my my 401k, mm -hmm. and you have to roll it over into an IRA. Or you pay taxes on it. Or you, well, not just taxes, but you also, also pay a penalty, 10% penalty. Yeah. 10 penalty. Right. Uh, and that's another thing with an IUL. Let's say, for instance, you have your, your, uh, your retirement set up, and let's say you put a lot of it into an, uh, an IUL, mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, it hits the fan when you're 50, 55. Mm -hmm. You can you can start taking out loans against it. Oh, really? Yeah, and you're not penalized with any other retirement vehicle, um, even a Roth IRA. You have to be 59 and a half before you can touch any of the money without penalty. So you can take loans against the money that you're putting. You obviously you know repay it throughout a period of time. Correct. You can repay it or you can opt not to. Now, when it comes to retirement years, mm -hmm. instead of withdrawing, because you're not pulling money out of your IUL, mm -hmm. you're actually taking periodic loans against it. Now, you're not paying the money back because they're going to get their money back at whatever, whenever, whenever you pass away because mm -hmm. there's going to be that benefit to it. So it's just taking out loans against your final death benefit. Have you heard of insurance policies that you reach a certain age, you actually get your money back? Yes. Uh, glad you brought that up. Yes. Um, Switching to a different type of policy, uh, one thing I do a lot of is mortgage protection. Oh. Uh, now, mortgage protection is basically just a drummed up term for term life, but it's angled towards your your mortgage. Mm -hmm. So let's say you take out a $250,000 mortgage on a home and you're paying on it for 30 years. So I would sit down with you and typically we would set up a term life policy for a quarter million dollars, how much you want to cover for mm -hmm. it. And the problem with term life is by the when you're done paying for it, all that money's gone. Mm -hmm. There's no benefit. It's basically it's literally legalized gambling. You're making a bet that I'm going to die within the next thirty years, <laughs> and, and the insurance company says, yes, "I bet you're not." I'm going to die in the next thirty. Years. And the insurance people are going, "Woo, come on!" Yeah. Now I've asked people, and I'll sit down. We're going over. We're going over the finances. I said, well, "What if I told you uh -huh. that let's say you lose your bet, but you get your money back?" They said, "Well, how am I going to do that?" What's all my will? Yeah, exactly. So. I said, well, also, what if I told you that instead of paying, uh, paying off your house in 30 years, mm -hmm. you paid off in 20? Wouldn't that be a benefit? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, so we set up a term life policy. It's called a return of premium. Now, the, the premium is going to be a little bit higher mm -hmm. because the, company, the insurance company knows they have to give the money back. Mm -hmm. But during the entire time, you've got that coverage. So if you were to pass away, the house is paid for. But at the end of the, at the, end of the 20 years, you get all of your premiums back, and typically it's enough to pay the mortgage off, whatever's left. So at your 20-year date, uh -huh. it all comes back to you. Mm -hmm. Wow. And, gu and guess how much you have to pay in taxes on that? How much? Uh, really? Yes. I'm all about tax-free. You don't I think the tax government gets enough. give it back to you? Mm -hmm. Because you paid in money that had already been taxed. Oh, it's yeah. pre-tax. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. 
Because I saw you need to do that in case you, I know. you'd be young lady. I mean, I, I hope years. that I uh, don't die in the next 30 years. Mm -hmm. but, It'd be uh, helpful. <laughs> I mean, that's like, you'd, be, you'd have to be stupid. In 30 years now, you should be hosting this show. In 30 years? <laughs> should hopefully should in 30 years. I don't know where I'll be. <laughs> <laughs> and when it comes to insurance, you know, people say, well, how much do I need? It's like, yeah. I don't have a magic wand, a crystal ball. I don't know. Uh, the main thing is, is your unfunded liabilities, okay? How much debt do you have and how long are you going to have it? That's the, that's the biggest question you can ask yourself when trying to, to figure out what life insurance is going to be best for okay, you. Okay, real quick, I'm going to throw a name out there and you tell me what you think about it. Key Man Insurance. I, I wish I knew more about them. I heard okay. the name and uh, that's about it. Really? Okay. Uh, well, I'm glad you're educated on that subject. Okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Key Man is basically you insure a certain guy who's a... If he were to disappear from your life or business, whatever, mm -hmm. you, you're, you're at a severe loss, right? I, I know there's a number of uh, large corporations that do that. They'll take out a life insurance policy on an employee that's very important to them. Mm -hmm. uh, I know a lot of them do. You know, there was you uh, still keep Ma Michael Moore put this into his documentary at one point. I forget which one it was, but he thought, thought how terrible it was that they did that. And because the family doesn't get the benefit, it's like, well, it's a loss for the company, so they want right. to, they want they want to cover any of their losses. Just like there's a, there's an insurance for your business, uh, Tillman uh, Fertitta, yeah, that uh, owns Landry's yeah. and mm -hmm. Kima Boardwalk, yeah. When the hurricane came through and destroyed it, and they were out of business for what was it, two oh, weeks, God, three weeks, yeah. Yeah. yeah, they had to rebuild. All right, they have an insurance that covers their loss of revenue, so he was getting insurance payments. But his oh, people, do no. they get paid? Uh, yeah, whatever they have set up, I'm I don't sure know. I'm sure they did. Yeah, you think I'm so? Sure I'm sure did. some of them if it, did. Like large corporations, I'm sure they did. Even for Har Harvey, really? I wasn't working here, obviously, uh -huh. but uh, the corporation that I was uh -huh. working for, they uh, they gave us like you a little still bit paid of, even though you're sitting at home. Mm -hmm. They gave you like what your average, like based off of what average yeah, hourly. Average pay. I mean, I was salary, but yeah. That that's pretty cool. Uh, Jared Parrish, Parrish Insurance uh, Consultants. Consulting. Consulting. How do people get a hold of you, Jared? 713-854-5992. Uh, or you can email me at Parrish Jared, which is P-A-R-R-I-S-H-J-A-R-E-D at me.com. Uh, or you can go to my website, ParrishInsuranceConsulting.com. Man, always a pleasure on the show. Very educational. Every time we come here, we learn something. Thanks, Jared. And uh, uh, it just, just, just great. I've known you for years. It's just a pleasure to see you all the time. Uh, we're going to take a short commercial break. When we come back, we're going to talk about what we got coming up next week. So do not go away. We'll be right back. Hey, don't change that dial. We will be right back with the Daily Buzz Radio Show. Follow us at KNLY 91.1 FM. Mixing genres and generations, all in one station. 91.1 FM, the boss. Are you great with people? Do you have professional experience? 91.1 The Boss wants to interview you as a sponsorship promoter. Contact us today at 713 370 5051. Angela Aja, author and writer of the book Summit to Soar, is hosting her book launch party at the Butler House on January 10th from 6 to 8 p.m. located at 23931 Butler Road in Spring, Texas. The evening will feature her five stages of the rise of a woman, a book cover reveal, a reading by the author, light bites, and drinks. Please RSVP through the event on Facebook Summit to Soar. Thank you to the generous sponsors, the Butler House Restaurant, Writing Boutique, and Behind the Gates Magazine of Carlton Woods. This message was from a proud sponsor to Keenan Y. 91 1.1 FM. Woohoo! We're back with the Daily Buzz Radio Show. Woohoo! We're back. <laughs> DailyBuzzRadioShow.com. Tressa Ray. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, who we got? What are we coming up next week, Tressa? Well, uh, Monday, I'm in a bind, guys. I need some help. She needs a co-host. She's hosted. I, I got, I I got meetings to attend. I cannot host Monday, so she is yes. hosting. So I need a co-host. If anybody wants to come and co-host with me, let me know. <laughs> the, yeah, that's the qualification. You have to go, woohoo! You got to have a high-pitched voice. Yeah. Um, uh, so yeah, if you so want to co-host, how do they contact you? Uh, you can email me at knlymedia at gmail.com. Knlymedia yes. at gmail.com. If she don't know you, send her something about you so she can figure out who you are. Send me a little video. A video. Of, of yourself talking. You sure you want that? 
Uh, themselves talking. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, so Monday I need help. Tuesday will be recovery day for, Jared, I'm sure, not video. just us, but you guys as well. It'll be the new year. Yep. Um, and then we've got some. We've got Cole coming back on Wednesday. Cole with, uh, what's, uh, Houston something, uh, a grace track or something like that. Yes. Yes. Go, uh, car, Houston Karting co- Complex. So That's that the Houston NASCAR racing complex. kind of go-karts it's that go 50-something miles an high hour. High-speed bumper cars. Yes. Okay, yeah. cool. Okay, all that's coming next week. We have several more guests throughout the week. We are off air on uh, New Year's Day. We'll have a pre-recorded show that day. Tress Ray needs a co-host on Monday, so send her an email, knymedia at gmail.com. We'll see you Monday. Ah, woo! Bye-bye! <laughs> Bye, <guys. laughs> Watch us.